What is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video here on the channel and today is the second video in the installment of the How to Build a Go-Kart series where I am going to walk you through step by step on the process of how to build a go-kart from my own perspective based on the build that I have done over the past two years. Now in today's video we're going to be doing something pretty exciting. We're going to be getting started with frame design and frame design ideas. And we're going to start with looking at some uh, designs on the computer here and where you can get some inspiration from maybe where you want to take some of your um, design cues in your frame and go from there. We're going to be um, then looking at the first method on how to get the sizing of your go-kart based on how big your driver and or passenger are going to be. So Matt's here to help me out to talk about some of the things um, and we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Okay, so Matt's gonna be our model here for this next part of the video. So now that you've seen from the, the TV over there on you know maybe where to get some of your frame design inspirations from, now you gotta take that from your rough pencil sketch and put it into real life to get the size you want. Because depending on how big you are, you know, you want your go-kart to fit you, and you don't want to be too small for your go-kart, and you don't want to be too big also because um, then you'll look like a clown driving on a little clown car. Um, so you don't want to do that. So Matt's going to go ahead and model for us the next step of taking your frame and laying it out on the ground using painter's tape or any sort of tape to get the size you want. So let's go. So if you guys can remember, if you either were, have been with me ever since I started it or you went through and watched the entire series, um, the go-kart as it is now, started out, well, first as a rough pencil sketch, but then it, it came and went into this, you know, design on the ground using tape. And the reason being for that is, I, you know, because I've never built a go-kart like this, like, I don't know how big to make it. I don't know how wide to make it. I don't know how long to make it. So what I did was I laid this tape out, and then I literally sat on the ground here, and just kind of got an idea for where my feet would be, where I'd be sitting in terms of the, the sections. And that really helped me determine what length I want and what width I want for the go-kart. Okay, so one thing I wanted to do before we actually laid out the tape design on the ground and use Matt as a sizing reference, I want to just take you through a very rough and quick kind of sketch of like a frame to get on paper. Now the next video is really going to focus more on um, actually sketching and designing it on the computer and on paper. This is more of like getting your ideas on paper, thinking of different designs, inspiration sources like all the ones we just went over, um, and then getting kind of an initial design out on paper. So I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit um, in terms of taking it from sketch to the um, the model on the ground because really you want to do actually I guess not because you really want to do an initial sketch to get like the size the general or the general shape and then you want to go to the tape to get the size and then um, you know you want to go on the computer and refine it but tomorrow uh, then not tomorrow the next video in the series will be focusing on refining the design in terms of sketching and computer modeling so we're going to go ahead and just do a quick sketch here and we're going to follow the kind of the four section rule that I introduced before so we're going to have our front section our mid front section mid rear section and our rear section um, so I don't know we'll just kind of sketch out like a a rough, you know, front end here, and then this will maybe connect into a rear section or a mid front section. This isn't perfectly symmetric, and I'm kind of drawing at a weird angle, but, and then I don't know, maybe like a angled, kind of go go into a little bit of an angled mid section with that connecting, and then maybe like a squared off rear section to make it easy for the the go-kart and this kind of looks a lot like a, a shifter cart frame so you know here you know might be where your wheels are approximately this is all approximate so don't don't judge me on this um, and then this might be like you know your rear axle might go all the way across over here like that 
So, I don't know, just kind of a rough idea. This is a very rough sketch. You know, you obviously want to be a little bit more uh, diligent with making it symmetrical, um, but it really helps to just kind of get your initial idea down. And it turns out you might look at this and be like, eh, I don't like that. Let's try and like, you know, bring it in. Um, so it has kind of a pointed rear end. And then you have, you know, that's kind of like what the aerial atom or the dragon spider especially uses um, is in the rear end, it kind of comes to a point again. So that frame kind of uses more of a design where it's like straight out, point in at the back, straight in the middle again, and then, oops, wrong way. And then it comes to a point in the, in the front. So that's kind of what the Dragon Spider uses and then that allows for a lot of space for your wheels in the front and rear. So um, that's just kind of a rough idea. You know, you can take this and like I just did, you can kind of modify it and tweak it to how you like it. Um, but I'm, I, I like the second idea where you kind of have um, the pointed front and rear section. So we're gonna go with that design when we lay it out on the ground to get sizing for um, your driver. Okay, so after some final tweaks, um, I kind of came to a design here and we uh, strayed away from the initial four section design a little bit. It's more of just like a front, mid, rear section. So obviously this right here would be kind of like where your feet are and then the pedals would be here. Um, and then this would be the middle. So the seat would be something like here. Obviously the steering wheel would be like there. And then back here, you know, you could probably put the engine like right here or up right above the axle or things like that. So um, this is a very two-dimensional design. So the, the, the tape thing on the ground really only helps you with two-dimensional. It's a little bit tougher with three-dimensional. So in the next video, we can kind of elaborate on, you know, making it more three-dimensional and kind of going on the fact that, you know, if you make it more of a cockpit design, like some of the Formula SAE cars, um, it's got more vertical pieces, or the shifter cart design, or basic go-kart is a more flat frame and you kind of sit on top. So that's something we could explore in the next video. But for now, let's go ahead and take this design, we'll use Matt as a reference, and we'll lay out some tape on the ground. <laughs> this is not a smiley face, this is, this is all a seat. <laughs> All right, Matt, so why don't you plop a seat on the ground, and we're going to go ahead and get the sizing we want. So stick your legs out like you'd be... Okay, there you go. All right, so now let's go ahead and rip up some tape, and we'll try to get a rough estimate for how long it should be. All right, so I ripped up some tape, so now we'll try and get... And we'll lay it out here. So we're going to use this section right here as kind of like the midsection. That'll be about the midsection. We'll lay down the other side. Does that look about even? It needs to come up a little. That's fine. Alright, so now I've got the midsection. So now we can consult our um, frame here. So now it's going to go concave a little bit to the front, grab some extra tape, so now we'll, and you can always mess around with what angle you want and things like that, so, okay, so it's got to be a little bit wider, you can see his uh, feet, you know, you don't want it too close like that, because you're going to have to account for the pedal, so, Go something about like that. Do the same on the other side. What do you think like that? About is about even up there? Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay. And this is just for rough estimate, you know, to try and get a uh, general size. So this might be a little long, but I think it's okay. Okay, so now I've got the front. Okay, so now we've got the middle section, the front section, and now we'll do the back section. Make sure if you guys find this video helpful and um, this helps you in any way build your go-kart, give this video a like so that we can see it, um, so we can keep doing more of them. Yeah.
appreciate the viewership. Okay, so now we're going to do the rear section here. Okay, approximate angle of that guy. Make sure it's about the same angle. Yeah, it's pretty close. Do the wheels the same way you did them on the yeah over there. That. Okay, so now we got the frame. So we got our front section, middle section, rear section. The front's a little bit longer than the uh, the rear. Got to turn the light back on. So now let's go ahead and we'll lay out the rough estimates to where the suspension might lay. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and lay out the suspension arms. Yeah, tape rolled over on me. So this go-kart is going to have a pretty wide track, uh, when I say track I mean wheelbase. So well, it will be a great street cart. Um, when you design your go-kart, and this is another video I'm going to go over probably in the next video is certain design cues. Um, and I'm going to, while I'm on vacation here, I'm going to take some time to, to note down design cues because uh, there's certain things in your go-kart that you definitely want to account for to make sure it's safe. Um, it rides well and things like that. So that, that'll be a part of the next video or also just design cues for safety and for drivability purposes. At the same angle? A little bit close, yeah. This one is at almost, there's the bring it out a little more straight. Yeah, something similar. Yeah, it's not similar, it's not symmetrical, but. Is it close? Yeah, it's pretty close. should have done is just taken the piece from this section and use them on both sides because I know they're the same length. Still yeah. All right, so that pretty much lays out the initial frame. I mean, you can see that we have a large body here. This is definitely a little bit of a bigger go kart than the one I actually built. Um, and it's got a very wide track. Uh, one thing, another thing I'll note in the design cube video is that the rear wheels are going to have a wider track because they tend to be wider wheels than the front wheels. So that's always a plus. You want your rear track to be slightly wider than your front track or else it kind of looks funky um, and Matt was sitting in it and you know depending on how you shift yourself you can uh, obviously put the seat a lot farther forward or you can put it a little bit farther back but you also got to make sure that you have enough room for 
all of the engine components in the rear here. And also weight distribution is a key thing. Um, so if you obviously put yourself, you know, put the seat more in the back, you're going to have a lot more weight in the back and you'll have steering issues, which is a one design that could have been better on my go-kart. So you want to make sure you have ample amounts of weight in the front. One more design cue. And I'll list these all out in the next video so it's easy to um, understand and follow. But you, know, you just want to make sure you've got enough room for pedals and things like that. And so one thing after you lay out the frame is maybe to go in and just kind of put a piece of tape where you approximately think, you know, the seat might go where you might be sitting, your, might, your butt might be. And then you could also lay out different um, things. Uh, with, you can also indicate different parts of the frame with tape, such as like, okay, so say for instance the, you know, the engine might go, you know, here and make like a little box to simulate the engine. And what you should do is go, one big tip is to, you know, get get a lot of your parts beforehand so you know the sizing. So like, if you're going to go with the bigger engine, get the dimensions of the engine so you know exactly how much room you got to dedicate for it. So, you know, that might be where your engine will go. Obviously your sprocket or your, your shaft here from the engine will go there to your sprocket. This is actually a pretty cool frame. Right, what do you think, Matt? This would be... Go-kart build number two? I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I, I dig this. You got like a little front splitter here. You can see that like a Formula One. Yeah. Car. Yeah. So that's kind of the you know idea here behind laying out the design on the ground is you know getting your just your sizing. So if you're a bigger person, obviously you might want to make it longer or wider um, to account for your size. You don't want to be you know you don't want your feet to be hanging over the edge. I know some shifter carts are actually like that, but for me, I like having all of my body parts inside of the car just for safety and things like that. So that's kind of the how-to in terms of laying out your frame. Again, this is very rough and just to get an idea. Um, but then what you can do next to take it from uh, this frame design to the computer is grab your tape measure. And this is kind of where I'll um, kick off the next video is taking you know, your frame design that you laid out on the ground, taking measurements, so you grab your tape measure here, and you can measure and say, okay, this middle section is 32 and a half inches. So perfect, you know, the other side has to be the exact same. This section here is about 28 inches, and you'll have to get a protractor to kind of measure the angle at which it, um, you know, kind of goes in towards the center line of the vehicle. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how you're going to take it from the tape to the computer design and do a more refined pencil sketch maybe. Um, and that's where we'll kick off the next video. Okay, so now that we've covered all that, I just want to go over real quick what the next video is going to entail so you guys can kind of prepare for that and know what to expect in the next video in the series. The next video is going to carry off of this video. We're going to utilize this frame that we laid out here and we're going to explore that even more and take it even further into the design process because I think this is a pretty cool frame. Obviously we got to refine it and make sure it's symmetrical and, and everything like that. But in the next video, like I said earlier, I'm going to kind of think of a list of design cues. So like very important design points. So, you know, weight distribution and, and things to consider when you're designing your frame so that your go-kart will be safe and it'll run better. Um, so we'll be going over those things and also going over how to, you know, go from a more detailed pencil sketch and importing it into a computer program for modeling because it makes it easier to get measurements and things like that. And I might cover how to source some software um, if you don't have access to expensive AutoCAD or SolidWorks or things like that. So in sum, just to review the things we went over today, really the things you want to look over for determining what frame you want to design are based on cost and complication. Obviously, a more intricate frame design like the Aerial Atom or the FSAE cars that have a lot of complicated framework, they utilize a more elevated body st or chassis style where it's kind of a more cockpit where you sit inside the go-kart versus on top like the shifter cart. That is going to be a big factor in determining cost and complication. Another factor is going to be determining um, 
cost and complication is the suspension type. If you want to go with the, you know, suspend, actually having a suspension, a push rod inboard style suspension, or t your conventional suspension, that's going to add a little bit more complication and cost. When I say complication, I don't mean it's going to be like impossible. It'll just take longer um, and take a little more designing. So. Those are a few things that you want to take into consideration when looking for design inspirations and design uh, inspiration sources and at sources for finding an idea for what you want your go kart to look like. Um, and really, after that, you want to just you know think about the the section idea uh, to get an idea onto paper initially. So you want to think you're going to have a front section and then possibly a middle front, a middle rear, and a rear, or you might just have front, middle, rear. Um, and that those tips will really help you just kind of get an idea in your head onto paper. And then from there, you can take it to tape on the ground to get your sizing and um, and then get more detailed, like we're going to cover in the next video. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude this video, video number two in the How to Build a Go-Kart series. Thank you all very much for tuning in today. I hope you found uh, this kind of frame design uh, video along with the inspiration design cue part of the video very helpful. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Um, that tells me that you guys you know, benefited from this. And if you have any questions, as always, comment down below and um, I'll be happy to answer them for you. So thank you very much for Matt for being our model today and part of the video. Um, and he'll be joining us in future videos. We've got a fun video planned after Christmas. Um, so this is also a time for a public service announcement. I am leaving to go out of town tomorrow. So um, I will be going somewhere for Christmas. So I won't be able to do a video since I'll be away from the go-kart and all that stuff, obviously. And I won't be really doing any sort of car stuff. So. Until then, I hope you guys all have a wonderful Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever holiday you might celebrate this time of year. Um, and spend time with your families, cherish that time, and uh, happy go-kart building. We'll see you guys on the next video. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.